I am a world champion of a game that nobody yet knows. I am master of a script that nobody yet reads. I am creator of 12 painting techniques, some of them surrealist, and others that transpose a sensory, emotional world onto canvas. As Argentina's largest city, boasting the second largest metropolis in the country, Buenos Aires functions as the gateway to a region rich in European-style architecture and cultural life. Buenos Aires is a complex, energetic, and seductive port city, stretching along the Rio de la Plata with a physical structure as varied and diverse as its culture. The city has no dominating monument, no natural monolith that serves as its focal point. Instead, Buenos Aires is composed of many small places, intimate details, and tiny events and interactions, each with a slightly different shade, shape, and character. Oscar Alejandro Chul Solari was born on December 14, 1887, in Buenos Aires, Argentina. He was an artist, sculptor, writer, and musician with a clear interest in architecture and astrology. He later adopted the name Zul Solar. It signifies his ongoing interest in search for a universal. When he returned from travels abroad to Argentina, Zul Solar met with whom would turn out to be a lifetime friend, Jorge Luis Borges. The two would meet and share their ideas with one another. Zul Solar is often associated very closely with Borges and his work. There is no doubt that Zul Solar was influenced by Borges. del arte es esa, es transformar, digamos, lo que nos ocurre continuamente, transformar todo eso en símbolos, transformarlo en música, transformarlo en algo que puede perdurar en la memoria de los hombres, y es nuestro deber ese, tenemos que cumplir con él, si no nos sentimos muy desdichados. ¿no? The work of Zul Solar is filled with colors, geometries, lines, and figures. These elements are choreographed in such a way to present interesting environments, visualizing the imagination of Zul Solar. The content of his paintings range from cities to landscapes, from abstracted geometries to fantasy worlds. I go floating way over there in the distance. I see in a mist of many changing colors. Its organic palaces and biological huts are composed of scaffolding and thought. They transform themselves constantly. They grow larger and smaller. Now they are made of posts and arch supports, smooth walls with patches. They move about, rise, sink, intermingle, separate, and repeat the same thing over and over again. Many of his paintings repeat certain forms and objects. Mountains, skyscrapers, houses, and stairs are reoccurring elements which add to the spatial complexity as well as the inherent meaning and symbolism of his ideas, thoughts, and visions. The stair is a common object throughout his work, symbolic of the progression to the heavens a representation of his interest in religion and spirituality. His work is often categorized as abstracted and cubist, although this judgment is often challenged by the sense of realism which is found in each painting. 
This stands as a testament to Zul Solar's devotion in representing his visions. While many of his works are dominated by fantasies and imaginary scenes, there is always a complexity which captivates the viewers and invites them into the spectacle of Zul Solar's own world. Zul Solar creates his own versions of games, such as a version of chess, which he calls non-chess. He would play with his wife and with Borges. Each rendition or invention was a representation and interpretation of his multidimensional thinking. It was a way of expressing his ideas and rendering normative activity under his new visions and ideas. Zul Solar's residence is today a museum devoted to his work, containing more than 100 of his paintings as well as the fanciful objects that he created and called Heirlooms of Another Cosmos. The museum was commissioned in 1987 for the renovation and expansion of Zul Solar's house under the architect Pablo Tomas Baita. This is one of the architect's most famous works, although it is still not so well known. The architect decided to interpret the pictorial world of the artist and within it express his visions. From the street, the building looks untouched. Inside is a complex world of forms, geometries, and spaces. The Museo Sul Solar is a mezcla of spaces where se ve the concept of galería de arte expressed a través de una secuencia de espacios de escala intermedia, capaces de albergar eh, las obras de arte. Eh, de un modo ordenado de acuerdo al guión museológico, lo necesario para eh, tener en exposición eh, permanente una colección de arte de primera calidad. Pero a esa espacialidad de la galería de arte se le superpone, se le imbrica de un modo absolutamente esencial, de un modo que ya no es más posible separarlo, la idea de un teatro. Eso se puede ver claramente comparando la planta y el corte. Cuando ustedes vean la planta, van a ver una galería de arte. Cuando vean el corte, van a ver un teatro. Por ejemplo, la escalera. Es un tema de Zul Solar. Entonces, Zul Solar está, hace una escalera por cada cuadro, por lo menos. Y a veces en, cada, en un cuadro hay 20 escaleras. Y nosotros hicimos muchas escaleras. Sí, sí, por supuesto, porque nos interesaba eh, poner en escena el tema de los recorridos y sus cambios de nivel, asociado por el diseño que le dimos a los componentes, a la forma en que él diseña las escaleras en los cuadros. Es premeditado, es así. Nos interesó una escalera azul solariana. Sí, es así. Bien. The design consists of a multicultural room and three major exhibition spaces. The architecture plays an important role in relation to the art. Spaces are filled with lights from various openings to accent the forms. The architecture is reinforced with planes, cracks, ancient walls, and staircases, creating a complex structure and network which is representative of Azul Solar's own work. The most interesting feature of the architecture is the three-story atrium space, which cuts through the chaos and fragmentation of the spaces below. It is a break within the complexity of the architecture and allows for an abundance of light to enter the space. It is a powerful moment, one which equally speaks to the art of Zul Solar. In the case of the Museo of Zul Solar, we did it in a very calculated 
haciendo una lectura de las geometrías originales de la casa. O sea, la casa tiene un sistema geométrico, la casa de preexistente, la casa de subsolar. Nosotros analizamos cuánto de toda esa repetitividad, de toda esa recurrencia, esa regularidad de medidas nos servía para el museo y lo desagregamos en medidas que, no, que en definitiva son, son eh, medidas que se, se, se consiguen por reducción o por ampliación de esos datos. Pero ese proceso no termina siendo él por sí mismo un ordenamiento estético, sino que queda subsumido en una especie de segundo plano, tercer plano, cuarto plano, ¿no? en un, en un eh, eh, resultado final que prioriza las atmósferas, que prioriza los recorridos, que prioriza los focos perspectivicos, como decíamos antes, etc. Y esto, de alguna manera, da pie también a decir que el Museo de Sulzara es un experimento. <risa> the architect, Baita, was evidently influenced by the work of Carlo Scarpa. Scarpa used complex layerings in relation to materials and forms in order to construct a beautiful language. This language hides in some cases and exposes or reveals in other cases in order to add to the total experience of the building. There is a very intricate spatial composition achieved as spaces can be seen from multiple points of view as the architectural language allows certain views to be achieved or framed. This gem sits within the historical urban fabric of the city of Buenos Aires unnoticed to the city wanderer. I have no sense of reality. I am eternally doubtful. I wait for the creative flame that may extinguish before arriving. I should have a profession. I shouldn't split myself in so many directions. I have this life to live, and I don't know what life is. The way I want to live is theoretical, that I should have a solid base. Two art are one too many. I should redirect myself. I should practice one art and make money. If I don't change at heart, I will be a complete failure.